What's up everyone? My name is Steven and welcome to the Super Adventures. I'm in the lab again this week and while I was here I thought I would show you our sea anemones. Sea anemones comprise over 1,000 different species and are closely related to jellyfish. They live in shallow coastal waters, coral reefs, and some species can even be found deep in the ocean. Believe it or not, sea anemones are actually carnivorous predatory animals. They feed on fish, shrimp, crabs, and other animals unfortunate enough to get caught in their tentacles. The tentacles of the sea anemone contain specialized cells called nematocytes, which are trigger sensitive traps that fire off a harpoon like stinger. Here, let me show you what I mean. Right now, my finger is activating a trigger hair that causes the nematocyte to open. When it does, water rushes into the cell and causes the stinger to shoot out. As it pierces the victim, an anemone injects a potent neurotoxin that paralyzes their prey. Now if I were smaller, the toxin from that anemone would actually paralyze me and I'd be roped in and eaten alive. Sea slugs are known to prey on anemones. And what's really cool is that after they eat, the slug will actually store those stinging cells at the tips of their skin and can use them as weapons when under attack. As if the sea anemone wasn't interesting enough, a compound in their toxin has actually been discovered to increase the strength of heart contractions without increasing heart rate or blood pressure. This could have important therapeutic value for treating something like heart failure. While they may not be plants, some anemones form a symbiotic relationship with algae. The stinging cells protect the algae from being eaten, and as the algae undergoes photosynthesis, it releases sugar which the anemone can use as a food source. Anemones also form a symbiotic relationship with clownfish. The clownfish and the anemone both protect each other from predators and share any leftover food with one another. But don't let their peaceful appearance deceive you. Anemones are actually very territorial. If they come into contact with another anemone, they'll actually fight and sting each other until the loser removes itself and floats away. Some anemones have amazing regenerative properties. Take the nematostella for example. If you cut one of these in half, it will regrow into two different animals. That's all I got for you guys today. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to give it the thumbs up. Subscribe for more adventures. As always, thank you guys so much for the support, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!